Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, I think it's a giant. Oh, crap. I'm going to throw my reel. Yeah, I think it's a giant, y'all. Oh, I do think it's a giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In your hunt for snakehead, there are some waters in the Maryland, Virginia, Delaware area that turn into legitimate jungles <laughs> during the warmer parts of the year. This is a video where I want to show you that example. And when it comes to waters like these, never is it more important to have stout, strong gear, braided line, everything that you're going to need to be able to effectively get to that fish and set that hook. So, I'll put some brief descriptions of the gear up on the screen right now that'll give you a rough idea of the kind of things I'm talking about that you need to be successful. But as the video goes on, you'll see some of the points of frustration and I'll clarify some others. Hope you enjoy it, y'all. If you do, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get to the fishing. Oh, oh he's on it. He was on it for a second, y'all. That was a big fish, too. Big old fish. So I think he was coming to it. I don't think he was just straight up spooked. I think he was kicking off to chase it down. Let's see. Just saw some very interesting looking movement. And I think I see where it was. It's hard in these pad fields because everything starts to look alike after a while, but yeah, if it was a snakehead, that's a pretty good cast for where I wanted it. A few moments later. Oh, I told you he was there, didn't I? I might have him spooking though. But that's two big fish I've seen now. Made decent casts to both, and both have spooked. Yeah, I don't think these fish are hitting yet. Waiting for the tide to go out, the sun to go down. They're waiting for some type of change in the conditions before they start doing anything. Otherwise, I would have got sharked by now because there's fish all around me. That's not a problem. I'm around the fish. They just ain't really doing anything yet. It's a big one underneath this pad right here. He just dove down right underneath this pad. See those bubbles coming up? It's a snakehead. Yeah. Let's see if I can show you more. So if I get close enough, he's probably gonna spook. See him? There he goes. That was him. And there goes another. They're around. They ain't doing much, but they're around. There goes another one right there. That was a nice one too. I just saw something move right here. Oh, he missed it. Oh, come on! He missed it. Well, that's three short strikes. So far, they have not been good about coming back for it after missing it. But maybe this one will change that part of the pattern. Nope. Got you that time. I got you that time. Yes, finally. A fish. We have hooked the fish, y'all. Bass or snakehead, I don't know. Don't even know if I'll land it, but hey. At least we've hooked one. I'm just trying to keep pressure on. It's all I can do. She may already be off. We'll see. It's the only problem hooking fish in these pads. Trying to get him out of it. It's a son of a gun. They still got it. Oh, wow. Way bigger than I thought. Way bigger than I thought, y'all. Heck yeah. That's why we're here. That is why we are here. Thank you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Heck yeah. 
<laughs> That's a dragon class fish. That is a dragon class fish. Yes, I know. I know how mean and ferocious you are. Let me get these grips in there. We're getting that hook off, all right? I don't know, she might go 29, but <laughs> I mean, it's a big fish. <laughs> Plenty of chunkiness to her, too. Right through the lip. I like it. I do like it. Thank you, mine tickle. At long last, because it hasn't been easy. There's a fatty. If I were keeping fish, she'd be at the upper limit. But I think she's about 28. But let's see. Let's see if my eyeballs are eyeballs are off today. Let's see. What you got? We got a just under 28. I mean just under. 27 and three-quarter. Solid fish. Not the new world record we're looking for, but a absolutely beautiful fish. There she is, y'all. What an absolute beauty of a fish. Finally landed one. And again, the tackle honker. And this one came whew, out in this dense pad field. Thank you, beautiful. And away you go. Oh, <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> Yeah, when you're snakehead fishing, you're always in the splash zone. That is what it is. Chill, paddle. Chill for me. Let's do that again. GoPro, stop recording. Nice cast. Nice cast. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh boy. Oh, I think it's a giant. Oh crap. I lost part of my reel. I just lost part of my reel. Yeah, I think that's a giant, y'all. I do think that's a giant. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the kind of fish we're here for. This is the kind of fish we are here for. Heck yeah. Now this one is definitely a 30 plus. Uh, uh. Whew. Uh, let me see. I just saw her stir in the water right next to the frog. So I just stopped it and waited. And there she is. Jeez, that's a big fish, y'all. Yeah, I think I'll go through trouble getting a weight on this one. I'm telling you, that thing is so big top to bottom. Boy, it's a big fish. And that is why we are here. She might be on there, kinda. You're only, <laughs> there's only so much you're ever gonna be in control when you're dealing with a fish this big, especially in a kayak. Right in the lips again, double hooks right through the lips. Got my frog, put her back into shape. There we are. Get some of the grass off this line. Come on, grass. Too many Christmas. There we go. Put you down there. Let's get this net out of the way a little bit. All right. I'm gonna say 31. And let's see. Let's see where she truly is. No way, it's a 29 and a half. You gotta be kidding me. I was way off. That is a 29 and a half, y'all. I'm definitely gonna get a weight, so I'm telling you. This thing is a freaking fatty. Are you at? Me telefino, por favor. There she is, what a beast. Look at the stomach on her. She's about to flip. Oh, she's about to flip out. Oh, gorgeous fish. I just want to get a weight on her real quick. And I might have a scale in here. I do. I'm going to guess and see that she's at least 10. Probably pushing 11. And she's only 29 and a half. I'm telling you. 
And I tell you, this fish is thick. I mean, she is thick. Let's see. She'll come in at. Oops. 11.11. 11.11. And she's only 29 and a half inches, y'all. God, what a gorgeous fish. Right there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You turn off, please. Thank you. All right, let's keep it going. So as you saw on the outside of the video, we had some pretty frustrating short strikes to kick things off. But once those fish connected, I was able to land those fish. I have some other videos out there that cover a lot more in-depth snakehead gear, the things you need. But out here, the few things I'll point to and highlight, you need to have some strong drag, minimum of, I would say, 15, 16 pounds. Lock it down. Have nice sharp hooks, always check your hook points, carry a file with you. And a high speed reel does not hurt. The Speed Demon Elite comes in pretty handy out here. So, check the video description for the rest of the gear and see my other videos as well. But when you're gonna fish this thick stuff here, you gotta be ready. Hmm. Jesus. Now, much to my great regret, after the giant snakehead there annihilated the pad that my frog was on, I guess thinking that the frog was still there, I couldn't get her to come back. But <laughs> it was still a good day on the water. Beautiful weather out here. And hopefully you enjoyed the video and you got a few tips that will help you be successful if you ever have to range into the jungle to chase these fish. Hit me up in the comments section with any questions, anything along those lines, folks. And other than that, if you enjoyed it, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.